Chef boy are Steve. Like how does, ooh, good. I still got them. I try to be dairy free, grain free, nightshade free. Oh, I just burned myself. So what do you do when you get burned? I've never played DB, so I'm not sure. Hey, I'm Steve Smith Sr., 16 year veteran wide receiver in the NFL. Big plays by big players and big games. Thousands of people's jobs play a part in making the NFL happen. But today, I get to work with the Minnesota Vikings, head chef, and head nutritionist to figure out how do you feed a team. Hey, let's get started. Man, I love to eat. I've never met a food I didn't like, but I've never cooked for 90 guys. Let's see how it goes. Hi, Steve. Hello. I'm Chef Paige. Hey, Welcome. soon to be Chef Smitty. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. How, we'll see how well you do. Okay. All right. All right. How's your day going? It's going pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. You excited to cook up some wings with us today? Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited, actually. I, I enjoy food. How many people on staff do you have? I have 12 people. 12 people. Yeah. Yep. 12 people, and their day generally starts? Half of the people start at about 5, and then the other half start about 8, 9-ish. And when are you finished? We do dinner every single day, so we usually are rolling out of here about 7.30. For how many players? About 100 players, probably about 30 coaches, and then during the day we also feed the office staff uh -huh. for the Minnesota Vikings, so that's about 200 people. So in total, it's close to 350, 360. Yeah. 360 every single day. It's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. And they hungry. Yeah, that's a lot of chicken wings. Yep, it is. It's going to be about 160 pounds of just bone-in chicken wings. 160 pounds of chicken. The bone-in wings, and then we also do boneless wings that we bake for the players. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, how, there's no such thing as a boneless wing. That's not a wing. Like, when have you Wham. seen a it's chicken It's a chicken nugget. Without you know a it's bone. a chicken nugget. It's, it's a chicken nugget. It's not, it's. And then we're going to have a bunch of different sauces to go with them. We Ooh. toss them to order. All right, should we get you geared up? I get, I get a, you You can't come back here looking like that. Let's, gotta, go. let's do it. Right. All, All right. right, let's go. All right. Yes. So we're going to get you geared up with your very own chef coat. Ooh. I'll get the chef coat. I'll put it on yeah. the <laughs> Well, I need an arm first. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Look at that. So listen, if I burn anything, I didn't fired. do it. I'm fired. Can I get an advancement on my check? <laughs> I mean, it's a little soon to be asking for that, don't you think? Like, let's see how you do first. Okay. See how you're seasoned. But, but what do you think about those? are a statement. I'm ready to go. I may not cook anything, but I sure look the part. But you're going to look good doing it. So at some point, when I kill it, and one of these players walks by and, and, and finishes the meal, they can know that Chef Boyar Steve <laughs> took care of me. So before we start this, though, yeah. can I get a tour of this great facility. Sure. Soda machine. Bam. Soda machine. So this is the juice section? Juice machine. We have our nitro coffee machine, which is a new addition that everybody's been loving this year. This is our taco island bar. We've got a rice cooker that's up every day. Okay. Panini press. Coming straight back, we have... Look at all those buns. Our deep freeze. Take a look. Wow. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Uh, so this is our meat and dairy cooler. Um, on the right side, we have all of our cheeses, milks. I grew up in the hood, so I only eat cheddar. Cheddar's good for you. I've expanded my palate to cheddar and mozzarella. I mean, you have a, a world of cheese left yet to yeah. discover, young man. Today for lunch, we'll do probably 130 pounds of bone-in wings yeah. and another 30 to 40 in the nuggets. He said nuggets. So what's the vote on the uh, hot wings today? What, what's the vote on the flavors? What are we thinking? Regular traditional buffalo. OK. I make a spicy buffalo. A spicy buffalo? Yeah, that's what right goes here. in the spicy? So this Is one, this right here? This right here, yeah. It's not super spicy. It's not going to hurt nobody. I'm not going to need milk after this, am I? Yeah. yeah. yeah.
It's not gonna hurt anybody. <laughs> They won't eat it before practice, but it is after no, practice. No, you they cannot get it. eat this before <laughs> practice. You ready to train up some wings? Yeah, I'm ready to do it. Yeah. All right, Mike. I'll All see right. you later. So, this is a portion of the chicken wings that we're going to be using for today. Okay. I'm going to grab a portion. A piece of parchment paper is going to go yep. down. Well, that's to stop it from sticking, people. And then, you're going to put a roasting rack down so that air can get underneath the chicken wings. So, they'll be evenly cooked. Well, so it'll be evenly cooked and also air can get at all sides of the wing. Okay. Because who likes a soggy wing? Nobody. So how much chicken is this? This is about 40 pounds of chicken. 40 pounds of chicken. Right here. Right. Maybe a little bit less. First go around, 40 First pounds of chicken. First go around. So you're gonna put the chicken wings on the roasting rack. Yep. That's already sprayed. Make sure that there's a good amount of space. That's perfect. Yeah. So you're just gonna take a pinch and then kind of go above it and just sprinkle them evenly. <laughs> It's a little heavy. Maybe go this, a little higher up. Oh, look. There you go. Is that good? Is it still too heavy? No, it's good. Um, it's good. It's too heavy. No, it's good. Is it too light? Just keep going. That was a yes, too light. Shut up and go. Look, I've been married for 22 years. I know what that look means. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, their mayor of Flavortown is They're watching over us at all times. Look, I may have to pull out and call guys. Agent 89 knows a lot of people. I'm gonna have you pop some wings in the oven. This is our oven, though, so we have it... 495 degrees. On a super high pan. Ooh, that's wow. how we get Convection? that crisp, Yep, so that's how we get that super crispy skin yep. on the chicken. So, if you wanna right. grab the wings, we'll pop grab them the in. Woo. Don't put my face she in hot, there. She hot, she hot. My man! Hi, guys. Hey, how are you? Guy, this is Paige, head chef for the Minnesota Vikings. That's me. Hi, Paige. Hi. And Hi, Guy, what, what are we up to? What are you doing? What is this guy doing at a chef coat over here? Is my question. Hey, Chef Boyar Steve. <laughs> You're killing me. I love the jacket on you, bud. I didn't know you were in the game. I'd, I'd put you on the line anytime. He, he moves with a sense of urgency, Chef. I can tell what you gotta do. How about the fact that they have your picture over the stove in the kitchen? You see that? <laughs> I think that it just shows how crazy that group is. I think that Chef is leading a brigade of, uh, of crazy people, which is good. She has to. They let me in the building. <laughs> I love it, dude. I didn't know you were all geared up like that. All right, that's enough. I'm going. <laughs> All right, all right, bye. How about that, huh? How about that? That was, that I was I told hilarious. you. That was hilarious, you know people. So it's really important that we keep the dining room clean in between services, so okay. if you could help us with a little bit of vacuuming, that would be amazing. Absolutely. Now, I do have a question, though. How many pounds of bacon are you ordering? I order about 400 pounds of bacon at a time. How many, how many cases of life water are you ordering? 18,000 cases? I mean, I order them by the pallet at this point. Okay. And you give me, and yet you order the, the <laughs> sorriest vacuum cleaner known to mankind. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Why am I dizzy? <laughs> Oh, oh. Money? That's what I'm talking about. I put a little bit of hair on your chest. Not all of us need that. But... <laughs> right, so th up? how this is going to go, somebody's going to come up. Yes. They'll say what kind of sauce they want. They'll say if they want the Sauce 89. They might want that. Yeah. You have to sell it. Oh, somebody's like going to get this sauce. I'm sure somebody will. Yeah. Ask them if they want bone in or boneless, how many they want, then just toss them. What are you doing? Um, I'm doing chicken. But you're a rookie, so you got to keep going. Right. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. What is, we got um, regular chicken wings, and they say these are boneless wings, but technically, what are these? Chicken wings. Rookie, what are these? These look like nuggets, rookie. What right. are they? Nuggets. Yes, that's what that's you do right. with the rookies. Which sauce would you like? Uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, the 89s. That's what I'm talking about.
Didn't take long for the young buck to learn. What is it? Oh, so it's barbecue and buffalo. Okay. You like that? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Appreciate it. No problem. Chef, what do you recommend? I'm gonna go with the 89 sauce. That's what I that's what I would recommend. What do you need? I'm gonna do some boneless with the 89 sauce. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. How you doing? I still always remember the uh, you had an article on Sports Illustrated like 10 years ago. 10 years ago. And uh, it was late in your career, probably year 14 or 15. Uh-huh. And they were talking about uh, keys to longevity. Yeah. And you had like 10 points. So I wrote them all down. Really? And it was eat salad. Mm -hmm. Another one was internalized slights. And there, yeah. there were a bunch of them. Yeah. But I remember those two, and I remember, uh, so I always internalize slights, and I try to eat salad. I try to be dairy free, grain free, nightshade free, which is, that doesn't leave you much else to eat. What's so, nightshade? Nightshade would be like potatoes, tomatoes. So I, I do the best I can, but uh, I may have to try that, that 89 sauce. Yeah. Appreciate it. Great to see you, Steve. Remy. What's up, Steve? Wow, look at this. Right? Look at this. What is this? It's beautiful. It is Isn't beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? What is this place? This is the Minnesota Viking Skaterade Fuel Bar. Mm. And uh, what are we doing? We have our guys lifting currently, our skills players. Mm. So we are doing shakes for them, but we're going to do because we got help. We got really good help. I saw you in the kitchen. Where's the help? Right? No, I saw him in the kitchen. Oh, you, or you saw him in the kitchen. Hello. We got wings. Yeah, we got Morgan here Hi, helping you? us out. Steve? And so we got shakes to do. OK. We got 90 guys on our roster right now, so we got shakes. You're on the berry ones. OK. okay? Berry? Yeah, so we got to make sure, obviously, you know, but we got to make sure that they get some high protein. So let's start with powder, yeah? So for every one of these blenders, I'm going to have you add four scoops of four? the vanilla, yeah? While I'm sitting here doing the other ones with you. One, two, three, four. Yep, we're gonna go high protein milk here. All right. Cut. So add a little bit, yeah. Is it eye test? What are we yeah. doing? Yeah, you're, you're I, I know you got skill, so you eye it. Oh, right there. Oh, Ooh, a little that bit looks more. good. Yeah. yeah. Now let's do some of that Greek yogurt. Now let's do, obviously, Popeye the, the sailor. Popeye? Oh, spinach. You give it a good handful. What's the next ingredient? Yes, we're going to do some berries, right? right multitask. So first, you started kind of with our base of our protein, right? You got the protein powder, you got the milk, you got the yogurt, right? So yes. you did protein. Then I'm going to add on the anti-inflammatory, the berries, all those good things, and the spinach, of course. So we're just going to make our guys, yeah, hopefully recover a little bit faster. OK. And build up that muscle, because that's how we're going to prepare them for the season. So next, what you're going to do is add more milk in there. Add more milk. I'm going to blend right along with you we're going to make some noise here. That's what I'm talking about. OK. All right, I go what? five. All right. Does it automatically shut? Oh, it does. Yeah, mine's going to be pretty thick. I feel like I'm in a um, in the smoothie store. The change that it's been made for the last 20 years for mm -hmm. nutrition, I think we're learning a lot as we go. Like, how does, ooh, good catch. I still got them. Ooh, ooh, good catch. Um, so we just learned about ways like tart cherries, right? Tart cherries help to yeah, increase the blood. tart cherry. Thing. Right, right. So it helps to increase or expand the blood vessels. Yeah. So then you can get more oxygen in your system. Okay. You go harder, faster, stronger, right? So what are some interesting things that players have requested in their shape? Sea oh. moss. Excuse me? Yeah. No, what? I said it. Sea yeah. moss? Sea moss. It's a new trend these days. What, is, what does it do? Sea moss. I feel like it is works the same way, like tart cherry juice, mm -hmm. and give you a little bit of extra energy boost. Really? What up, there my he is. guy? <laughs> Just killed it, dog. <laughs> Just made, made your you. smoothie. How you been, man? Long time we see you. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah? It's good to see you. There you go. Go ahead, uh. You already made one? I already made it. Go ahead, okay. see. Let me see. Let me see. Did you put the special stuff in here? He I put the special. Today. He didn't. I didn't today, put it. Because she didn't tell me. Oh, OK. <laughs> I usually got you. All right. He's hired. Yeah. He's hired. Yeah. <laughs> A million dollars. A shake. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it, Steve. I oh, appreciate you. 
Martina. What she got for me? What? How you doing? I'm good. Good to see you. How is old age treating you? I feel great. I honestly, to be honest, I feel I feel younger than ever. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, you know having these guys and and uh, having this staff, this organization, yeah. the, all the resources they're giving us, shoot, I feel better than I've ever felt. What has the nutrition done for you to equal success? Yeah, I mean, probably most important for a guy like me who's on, on year 10 and uh, getting a little older, um, you know, you come in here, you got the, the vitamins, you, you come in after a workout and you got the shakes, you got the shaker bottles with, with everything you need to prepare your body for practice, for, for games. Um, it's unbelievable and uh, something I've never seen in my career before. Until now? Until now, wow. uh, which is incredible. And then you go up to the, you know, the lunchroom and it's, it's healthy food, different options every single day that you're not getting sick of the same old, mm -hmm. same old. And you come in here before practice, and there's food for you to make sure that you're feeling up before practice and you're not losing a bunch of weight during the season. And the thing I actually started incorporating from Remy's advice was overnight oats, because that way you don't get hungry. It's like a slow release, you know, just kind of keeps your body just feeling like you're, you're full, so you're not like looking for food. How much is this organization dependent on a Remy or Page for success? Oh, it's huge. And I, I think it's it's one of those things that we don't even, we didn't even realize until now how important it is uh, because we hadn't had that in, in the past. Walking out to practice, you got little shot glasses with hydration, mm -hmm. uh, pre-workout, different things to, to get that body ready to go for a practice. And I don't think it makes a huge difference on one day, but when you stack those days over and over and over and you kind of do that consistently through a season, I think it can, can pay big dividends. Uh, that's awesome. Well, I appreciate Sweet. it. Appreciate you. All right. This has been a very informational day. What I learned today, uh, Remy, is success off the field doesn't come by osmosis. Uh, nutrition is extremely important. The collaboration that you guys have, the integration of Paige, what you do, and how working together, but also how much food uh, you have to have a love for food, understanding of numbers. So what would be my grade? Hmm. You gotta give us some notes. Yeah, okay. we're gonna sidebar him. Yeah. All right. So I will say he had a great sense of urgency. Okay. He worked really well with my team. I would say he had urgency with us. Yeah. There's times where I'm like, mm -hmm. we're not gonna get these shakes done yet. You know, mm -hmm. it's a stressful time. Yeah, but I think mm -hmm. he's the person you only have to tell him something he once. He did and add strawberries. You know, I'm tonight. over here. I'm, 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 oh. I'm right over here. <laughs> You did add strawberries into my peanut butter and chocolate. Uh, I did call Guy Fieri for you. Oh, oh I did. I did call Guy Fieri for you. I think we got one. Yeah. I think we're going to go with, we'll go with an A. Solid A. A plus if you didn't put strawberries in that chocolate peanut butter banana shake. And P2 liked to shake. Yeah. That's saying a lot. Man, that's, that's the second A I got in my lifetime. Look at that. And, but I bet with that oh. A, you didn't get this. Yeah, well, there's got to be a reward that comes with it, right? We're so glad you were able to come hang out with us today. Oh, appreciate this is it. Really Thank fun. you. This is awesome. Yes. Yeah, we're Thank you. Paying me in food. Yeah, that's well, how, what's up we, you do. That's how we deliver all of our bribes around here. Right. Do you think things get done? Yeah. Noted. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I you. appreciate it. I, I learned a lot. It was fantastic. It was fun. And um, maybe we'll come back. I'm going to every team in the NFL to try to find the most interesting job. If you have something you want me to do next, leave a comment below. See ya.